Okay, today is Monday 24th of August 2015. It's just gone 7.40 p.m. New Zealand Standard Time. Now I'm going to show you where your uh, Nibiru object, or in fact the Moon, is going to appear on the Savannah Skies Australia webcam after sunset. Once the sun has gone down over the horizon and the sky gets dark enough for the Moon to appear. Now in fact the Moon is actually in the sky. It's around about here at the moment. But because the sun is still up illuminating the sky, the sky is too light for the moon to be seen. You have to remember that in these all-sky cameras, we're looking at 180 degrees from horizon to horizon. Now the angular size of the moon, that is, if you were to measure the angle across the moon as seen from the Earth, is only half of one degree. So it's actually a tiny spot in the sky. And the only reason it looks so big at night is because of all the glare. The same thing is true of the sun. The sun is also only half of one degree across, but most of what we see in the daytime uh, is actually glare. If you get yourself a uh, welding lens, a, a number 12 welding lens, and um, use that as, as a sun filter, you'll see that the moon is, sorry, that the sun is actually a lot smaller than it appears in the sky because of all the glare. But anyway, um, I've recently refreshed this and this is 17.36 or 5.36 p.m. local time in Cairns, Australia on the 24th of August. Now I mentioned in my previous videos that the cardinal points on this webcam are not actually correct. They are slightly rotated from their correct position based on the position of the, the stars and the sun and the moon. And I have emailed the host of this uh, webcam and hopefully he will reply and I will post his reply if I hear from him. So let's go to Starry Night and let's set the time for 5.36 as we saw in the last image and we can see that the sun is over here at an altitude of 6.8 degrees above the horizon. We can see that the moon is here, it's this tiny little spot here and it is at an altitude of 64.8 degrees, which agrees with what you saw on time and date. And also the heading. If we look over here, um, you can see that the altitude is 64.8 degrees, and the azimuth, that means the position on the horizon, is 96.1 degrees. That was described as the heading on time and date. So that actually agrees with what time and date says. So what I'm going to do now is um, show you the track that the moon is going to take across the sky and whereabouts in the webcam you are going to see the object that you've been calling the Nibiru. So what I'll do is I'll change this to minutes and I'm going to set it to five minutes because the steps on the webcam are five minutes each time. Okay, so we're already on 5.36, so I'm going to step this at five minutes. Uh, minutes each step. I'm going to manually do this so it doesn't go too fast and it means that at any point you can pause the video and check the time and check the position of the moon in the all sky camera and compare it to the image that you see from the from this image here. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to start that now stepping it through from 536 and this is the position that the moon will take across the sky and now you can see that, that as the sun is below the horizon the sky has darkened we can see more of the moon and we can also see the stars in the background now in fact with the moon being so bright tonight we're not going to see as many stars as we see here in starry night because the moonlight is actually going to drown out the, um, the, the background stars you'll see the brighter ones You'll probably see the Southern Cross again like we did last night. Um, but the bright object that you're going to see, which you've been identifying as Nibiru, is taking this track. So I'll continue that on. And as I say, you can pause this video at any time and check the time in Starry Night up in the left-hand corner there uh, against the time that you see in that webcam from uh, the Susanna Observatory. Okay, so by 1.21 a.m. on the 25th of August, then the moon is going to be um, just above the horizon. Again, over on the left, you can see the data here. It'll be 7.6 degrees above the horizon at that time.
So let's take it all the way over to the horizon. And you probably have a little bit of um, low cloud. Remember, you're always going to see more low cloud near the horizon because you're looking through a lot more atmosphere. So that is the track for the 24th to the 25th of August for the moon until it disappears over the horizon. You can use this video to compare with the All Sky camera, checking this time here. It will match um, Starry Night. Now remember, I have actually rotated the view in Starry Night so that the um, position of, of the sun that we saw earlier was um, matching what we what we see in the in the webcam here. These cardinal points, as shown on this webcam, are not correct, but I did match it up using the sun when it was visible.